Hello, we are going to discuss about GATE 2000 EC paper. Look at the program nation code given for 8085 microprocessor. If the program is, if the program starting address is 7FFF, 7FFF, okay. But unfortunately, if it is executing from 8000, what happens? What will be the output of this program that we are going to find? Okay. So, if unfortunately it is executing from 8000, then what will be the program outputs while executing? So, look at this one. 7FF is the starting address it is given and it has given the bytes also. The opcodes also it has given. So, if you observe, this is a 2 byte instruction. So, if it is 7FF, then definitely it will become 8000. This will be 8000 and it is 8001. This is 8002, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like this it happens, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, okay. We are interested in only 8000. If the program is starting from 8000, then 8000 will be taken as C3. 8000 will be taken as C3 is the opcode, 8000. Okay. While executing, always the first byte is stated as opcode fetch. So, whatever it is reading, that is C3, will be treated as opcode. So, what happens if C3 is opcode? That you can check from this one. C3 is nothing but jump instruction. Look at this. C3 is opcode for the jump, unconditional jump instruction. So, here C3 means unconditional jump instruction and whatever the next 2 bytes that will be taken as address. For this one, the next 2 bytes are going to be, okay, 8001, this is C3008, these are the 2 bytes. So, from this one, we can understand that one, it is unconditional jump from this C3 and next one is lower 8 bit address and after one is upper 8 bit address. So, this will be equal to jump 8000H itself. So, jump 8000H means again it is going back to jump itself and again it is reading C3 because 8000 C3 is there. C3 means jump and after that one what you are going to get is 0080. 0080 is nothing but again it is treated as 16 bit address which is equal to 8000. So, it will be in a continuous loop. It will not come into the next memory location next instruction okay so always the memo uh, the microprocessor is going to be within 8081 and 8082 that's all within this three locations only first it will go to 8000 location and it understands that one it is an unconditional jump instruction and it has to go to that address specified so what is the address specified is again 8000 at 8000 it will move to 8000 again it finds c3 that means jump instruction so, it will be an, un, uh, this is a considered as a loop. So, this will be in an infinite loop. So, the program execution will find an infinite loop at this location. If it is executed, if the program is executing it, if the program is executing from 8000 H. So, it finds infinite loop and next second one for the instructions given below how many memory operations reader write that is memory read or memory write are performed during the execution of call 2000H and LDA 2000H. First we will go for a LDA 2000H, LDA 2000H. So, first one is load accumulator with the data presented 2000 memory location. So, first machine cycle is treated as opcode fetch. Opcode fetch. So, that microprocessor understands that one. It has to load the accumulator with the data present at 16 bit address which is mentioned in the instruction. Second machine cycle. So, what is that address? It has to know first. So, it has to get the address and later it has to get the data from that address. So, second machine cycle is to, 
okay memory read operation it is memory read or means memory read operation where it is going to read the 0 0 that is lower order 8 bit address it is going to get lower order 8 bit address that is 0 0 these two zeros lower order 8 bit address it will get and during the third machine cycle okay again it reads the memory and from that one it is going to get higher order 8 bits so 20 after this at the end of m3 memo machine cycle at the end of m3 machine cycle microprocessor will know the address 2000 and next during m4 machine cycle it is going to read data from that 2000 address so it is going to get a data from 2000h and it will be loaded into accumulator during this m4 machine cycle so it requires four machine cycles that means four memory operations opcode fetch is also treated as reading data from memory so four memory read operations it requires okay so generally lda can be written in this way f r r r f means fetch opcode fetch operation with 40 states f means opcode fetch operation with 40 states the other three are going to be memory read operations it requires now move on to call instruction when we are going for the call call 2000h that means it is an unconditional call instruction the micro uh, microprocessor should go to 2000 location but whenever it is moving to 2000 memory location after completing that subroutine it has to come back to calling program while it is come back to calling program it must uh, know the return address where it has to come so before going into that subroutine microprocessor will store the next address that is address of next instruction is stored into the stack so if it is for example 1000 is the address at 1000 call instruction is there and call instruction is a 3 byte instruction so next instruction will be present at 1003 so this 1003 is loaded into stack pointer so the sequence of operations are going to be taken place like this first one is machine cycle 1 is opcode fetch opcode fetch so it knows that one uh, it is a unconditional call instruction it must go to the subroutine okay so that it must know the address of that subroutine where it is starting and at the same time it must okay it must the store the next instruction to be executed whenever it is coming back to calling program that has to be stored in stack pointer so second instruction m2 is memory read operation where it is going to get this address for that one first lower order 8 bits are going to be it will read 00 and it will be kept in z register that is temporary register inside 8085 and m3 during third machine cycle again memory read operation takes place where it is going to get upper 8 bit address that is 20 so it will become total 2000 and it will be stored in w internal register okay now wz contains the 2000 okay address subroutine address next during m4 okay memory write operation takes place memory write operation where the lower order uh, lower order address is going to be placed in stack pointer like this if this is going to be a stock pointer okay stack pointer so at the stack pointer we don't know first stack pointer pushing means hmm, it is equivalent to it is pushing the contents of program counter into stack pointer now during m4 and m5 the operation is exactly similar to pushing the program counter contents that means 2003 contents now the program counter uh, program counter consisting of 1003 that contents of 1003 is pushed into stack so pushed into stack means memory write operation memory write operation first pcl is going to be pushed into sp minus 1 
because pushing operation first it will decrement the stack pointer okay later at that memory location the lower order uh, data is going to be placed and during m5 during m5 again memory write operation takes place where program counter upper 8 bits are going to be stored in sp minus 2 location so while executing a call instruction first of all it will fetch the address first it will go for the upward fetch in the first machine cycle and next two machine cycles are going to use it to know the address location where it has to go okay and that address is going to be kept in temporary registers w and z and next two machine cycles m4 and m5 are going to be used to place the program counter contents program counter consisting of next instruction after call okay program counter contents are going to be pushed into stack after this one w and z register contents are placed in program counter okay and sequence execution is going to be starts from that address so it requires totally five machine cycles to execute call instruction so the answer right answer for this one is for call it requires five memory operations okay and for lda it requires four memory operations so we can write it as 5 and 4 5 and 4 next one write an instruction which takes the minimum possible time to clear the accumulator write an instruction okay write an instruction which takes the minimum possible time to clear the accumulator clearing the accumulator means we are going to get a is equal to 00h accumulator in 8085 microprocessor is 8 bit so that accumulator should get 00 that is our ultimate aim okay now <coughs> we'll see how it is what are the different types of instructions we have we can write the instruction as like this move immediate a comma 00h can be written otherwise a n i and immediate a with 00h that is logical and operation with the immediate data present in the instruction 00h with the logical and definitely it will be giving the 00 itself next xr a a xr operation with accumulator itself otherwise st a store accumulator with 16 bit memory store accumulator with data presented 16 bit memory specified in the instruction otherwise stax store accumulator okay store accumulator indirect with the memory location present in register pair either b or d stax b or stax d that means store accumulator indirectly where the memory location is present in bc register pair or d register pair so data from that memory location uh, it will be taken and it will load the accumulator so before this one bc register pair memory location whatever the memory location it points that should be consisting of 00 and de memory location the contents of de will point some memory location at that memory location we assume that one 00 is present okay and the other instructions are possible are sub a these are the different instructions which can be used to clear the accumulator contents but we must know to clear the accumulator minimum possible time it should take minimum possible time it should take so first we will see how many bytes each instruction will take how many machine cycles it requires how much time it takes time it takes is directly proportional to number of t states it requires okay so move immediate is a 2 byte instruction it takes two machine cycles and 7 t states it requires whereas and immediate also it takes two bytes two machine cycles and 7 t states xra takes one byte instruction one machine cycle only four t states are required sta 16 bit memory sta 16 bit memory is a three byte instruction it requires four memory locations and 13 t states it requires stax bd it is a one byte instruction 
but it requires two machine cycles and 70 states okay sub a it is one byte one machine cycle and 40 states even though stax is one byte instruction but it takes three t states more okay so the possible instructions used is xra and sub a these two are going to be one byte instructions which takes only one machine cycle and takes only 40 states and most possibly xra is going to be used instead of sub a xra is most preferred instruction to clear the accumulator contents in minimum possible time so the right answer for this question is xra a as well as sub a but most preferably xra thank you